Sean Curse, a.k.a. The Freak, formerly of the Tennessee Titans and Philadelphia Eagles. Okay, so what are your thoughts on playing football on an aircraft carrier? This is amazing. Like, you see these things on television, but you don't really know how big they are until you get on one. This is like basically uh, two or three football fields put together on the water. That is amazing. This is a lot of space to do a lot of stuff. Yes. <laughs> All right, so you guys, you had to have played Madden when you were growing up, correct? Heck yeah, come on now. I was one of the, I was one of the best around my city. Oh. Believe that. All right, well, you say you're one of the best, but first of all, what's a favorite memory of yours from playing Madden growing up? Really, I'm gonna say the, the effects. I mean, because um, one of my cousins, I think he still has like a Sega or something. <laughs> In the first Madden that was on that one or whatever, it looks like night and day, look like stick people compared to real people now. So I mean, like just with the, just with the, how real it's become now, it's like the real thing, just like I'm on the field in real life. So what was your go-to team? Personally, I would always use my Titans, baby. <laughs> always, yeah, especially like when they had the um, um, Mac 9, Steve McNair, Eddie George. I was going to that team right there. So what do you think has made Madden a hit for 25 years? I'm going to say because it's so realistic. I mean, um, these guys do their homework. These gamers, the people that make this game do their homework. And listen, when I say I play this game, it's like the real thing. Like, I actually, like, I factor in what we would do in real life into the game, and that makes you a good Madden player. If you know the game in real life, you can um, you can transfer it on to the, to the game. So, so I'm betting between all the NFL players, it's still pretty popular. Like, when you're not, when you're not out there practicing or hustling or playing the game, you're playing Madden. Correct. That's always, baby. Now, considering that Madden has the real playbooks from every team, now how can rookies use the game to help prepare for their NFL career? They really can, really. If, if they study the playbooks or whatever, they can learn their team's tendencies and their team's go-to plays. And basically, um, you can you can transfer that into real life because it is the playbook. So if you can learn those playbooks on the game, that's pretty much what you're going to be doing in the real thing. So it's good. All right, now Madden 25 has this new mode where now instead of being a player, you get to be the owner of your team. And you get to control everything from team decisions to even concession menus. Now, if you were an owner, what would you do? Oh man, I'm gonna I'm gonna tear up the concession stand. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna have our concessions either four star or five star, and outside of that, good football is gonna go hand in hand. Good food, good football, bam, come play for me. <laughs> now, what do you think of how far Madden has come in 25 years? I know you touched on this, seeing a Sega Genesis and seeing how everything is stick. Yo, know, the evolution. Like one word, what would it be? Phenomenal. <laughs> Now, what role has Madden given to the sport of how football grows? Definitely, personally, it gives the fans. It gives the fans um, a real look at kind of what goes on, like what we're seeing as players or whatever. Because like so many of my friends outside of football called me up to ask me to pick my brains about play calling and everything else. And it really, it really is the same thing as the real thing. Once you once you play Madden, it's the, you, you apply the same real life scenarios and it'll make you a better gamer.